All right, I hope this one's not too long. Uh, we're going to start with the definition first. Uh, that is defining uh, what an algebraic expression is. An algebraic expression is or are constants and variables joined by the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And I should never write in cursive again because I can barely read my own. Um, so I'll read it again. Algebraic expressions are constants and variables joined by the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, such as this guy. All right, so I'm going to scroll up to the top, and we can start digging around in this, and I'm going to ask a bunch of questions. You should pause and answer them uh, if you can't think about it. But uh, So the question is, is how many terms is in this expression? And I guess maybe I should ask this question first. Why is this an expression and not an equation? You should tell me it's because there's no equal sign in there. It's 4y cubed minus 3x plus 5y squared minus z plus 2w plus 2x minus, and that's kind of jammed up in there, minus 15z. So no equal sign, not an equation, but an expression. And of course, we have variables and constants or numbers uh, joined by various operations. All right. How many terms are there? One, two, three, four, five six, seven. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. Okay. Which term is the highest degree? So with that, we look at the degree of the polynomial and the highest degree of the polynomial. So this is the term that has the highest degree variable. So the degree of this polynomial is three. So it's a polynomial a polynomial of degree, I didn't write it out, degree three. And of course, I just said don't write in cursive, and there I went, <laughs> of degree three, okay? Uh, another definition, I'll try to print this time. Definition is the definition of a polynomial. Ah, crazy thing. It's supposed to be a hand, it should be a palm block, but it's not, it thinks I'm trying to pull up the... Uh, so definition of a polynomial. Okay. So the definition of a polynomial is a term or finite sum of terms with only positive integer or zero exponents permitted on the variables. You can hear all that tapping through your headphones or whatever your speakers or whatnot. Okay, so let's poke out a couple of these key things here. So a term, which we've talked about, or a finite sum of terms. The reason why with the finite, you'll figure out if, if, when, or if you get to calculus. If you're talking about an infinite sum of terms, then those are series. So we're, we're separating polynomials from series. And uh, they have to have positive integers, examples of positive integers, 2, 7, 15, but not negative 3, etc., or 0 as the exponents. Okay, so here's an example. 5x cubed minus 8x squared plus 7x minus 4. This is a polynomial. Almost went to cursive again. In x. A polynomial in x. So that's that guy. You can also cannot have variables in the denominator. Why? So if I have 1 over x... That is actually equivalent to x to the negative 1, and we're looky there. We're not allowed to have this exponent with a negative, or you can't have a, an exponent that is a negative integer or a negative number at all. So that means you can't have variables in the denominator. Okay, so let's go and ask a couple questions here. What degree, oh, there's that cursive again. Dang it. What degree is 2x to the fifth? You should tell me five, okay? What is the degree of x? Uh, 
the degree is 1. Yes, we are just lazy mathematicians. We don't write the exponent of 1. It's understood to be there even if we don't write it. And no, we do not want to write it. Um, what is the degree of this polynomial? 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 7. We already kind of covered this. You should tell me that it is 3. Oops, 3. Based on that term that has the highest degree, which is 3. And then let's go with this guy. 2x to the 4th, y cubed, minus 3x to the 5th, y, plus y to the 6th, y squared. What is the degree of this polynomial? And this one's a little bit more complicated. What is the degree of that polynomial? Well, which term has the highest degree? And so you may not, re may not recall this from previous. This guy has a degree of 7. Why? Because it's 4 plus 3. This guy has a degree of 6 because it's 5 plus 1, and there's our answer. This has degree 8 because of the 6 and the 2. That shouldn't be y and y. I think this is supposed to be an x. Either way, if they're different, doesn't matter. 6 and 2 is 8 because if that was the case, we would just add those exponents. Silly me. I don't have to change it in my notes. All right, so uh, that's it.